you know sometimes the music comes in and it's just like bop after bop after bop and i'm not saying this is a bad song at all but it's definitely one that's like much nice slower you. than the typical stream intro music and i really was not expecting it to be next usually i kind of queue up the first few songs and i forgot to today but uh yeah so we're we're chilling we just we're chilling with this one for now it's it's just it's just nostalgia it's just pure nostalgia for me and it's fantastic but hi everybody how we doing happy wednesday welcome on in that is the uh elwyn forest song from Pleased world of warcraft you. so uh for any fellow wow nerds out there uh you're probably like oh my god i love this song <laughs> kind of making me rethink life it's the way it goes it's really the way it goes and eggs speaking of which thank you so much for the 23 months hope you're doing well today my friend welcome on in lovely to have you and arthur with the 10 months thank you thank you thank Pleased you to meet you anima i thought you were having holiday celebrations with some friends what are you doing here go celebrate with your friends you don't need to moderate the chat today <laughs> anima thank Pleased you for the 23 you. months i hope you're doing well i hope you're having a fun day over there Thank you so very much. Spirit Almond with the 17 months. I really appreciate it. Hi, everybody. Lovely to see y'all. How am I doing? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good today. It's been a it's been an interesting morning. Uh, Coda has a little Pleased bit of a you. upset tummy. He's had too many holiday snacks. Uh, so it's been a little rough dealing with him throughout the day. I will say Sid took the brunt of it. Uh, I woke up at like 3 a.m. to take the dog out, put him in the backyard, did his stuff. And then he woke Sid up again at 5 and then... Uh, there was, there was a few accidents that needed to be cleaned up around the house. Um, and so she ended up just staying up and watching him for the rest of the morning until just kind of starting the day. So it, it's it's been a morning over here. But other than that, it's been good. It's been it's been pretty good otherwise. Pleased to meet you. I was with neighbors, but it ended earlier than I expected because it was outside and Sweden do be cold. Yeah, that makes sense. That that does make sense. Okay, you're sorry. Sorry for... Uh, Telling you you shouldn't be here. You're more than welcome to be here if you would like. Pleased yeah, so to meet you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Stedivire, thank you so much for the six months. Been a while now. Proper winter now. Yeah, it is. It is. It's pretty chilly today. We finally, it stopped raining for a bit. So that's pretty good. It looks like it's not going to rain for like five days. So I'm pretty happy. That's great. Cute and horrifying. Thank you so much for the two months. So happy to catch the stream. Love your content. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And Lizosaurus with the 23 months. Another one. Thank you so very much. I really do appreciate it. And Frostbite with the 28 months. Look at that beautiful purple tree over there. Finally got to catch another stream. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Huh. These songs, by the way, do you have the songs you use everywhere in streams and videos? Please so, to meet like a playlist. I do have a playlist, but it's on my local Spotify, and it's not something I'm going to be sharing. Um, so if you can find the songs, you can find the songs. Um, but... They're all through Epidemic Music is where I get all of them. And then I download them and I put them into a Spotify playlist that I can use that's only locally, but I don't have redistribution rights, so I cannot share them. Uh, hope you're having an amazing day. I am. I'm having a pretty good day. I started a new project. I got another project wrapped up this morning, so it's been pretty productive already. Uh, so it's been good. It's been good. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Today do be be the day for membership milestones jinxie heart with the four months as a mega fan thank you so very much remind me my friends if you are a member you can click the little dollar sign down there and it probably has free membership message in there and you can click that and send a message which is how you're seeing all these if you're a member and you've been around a member for a few months you're like why does my message never pop up what is broken what's going on it's unfortunately youtube's really bad about the system and you need to go click it yourself it's not like on Twitch where they pop up and they're like, hey, you have a free message to send. Do you want to do that? So on YouTube, you actually have to go click that you send it. So there's your there's the monthly reminder for that. Uh, if you want a bit of another playlist, look up Game Chops on Spotify. It's free to use on streams. I tend to avoid those free to use on stream ones as uh epidemic sounds is a platform that i pay for it's 40 bucks a month so it's not the cheapest thing so i wouldn't recommend it if you're just getting started out but it does make it a lot safer because i've still had a lot of those that are like free to use on stream and then people abuse that and then they put in false copyright claims for it and the youtube copyright system is just absolute trash uh, for me to fight back and say no i do have rights to use this music i have to give them my first and last name can't enter without it i have to give them my personal email address i have to give them my physical address of where i live 
or where my business is operated out of and then i also have to give full like convincing reasoning for why it is i have rights to use the music and then that is all sent to the person submitting the copyright claim and they get all that information and i get to know nothing about them so by using epidemic they fight all those battles for me i don't have to submit any of the claims i don't have to do anything like that so it protects my personal information and uh yeah that <laughs> i've had a i i just it's one of those where i'm just like i don't want to deal with it not at all but it's okay it's all good it's the way it goes sometimes but yeah i mean if there's great things out there that you want to use go for it i do tend to use the i like the stream beats has a very cool lo-fi christmas one that we'll probably throw on on friday stream and listen to throughout next week going into the holidays uh and yeah i don't know it's a it's a fun one i enjoy it so that's kind of the way that i think about it what are we doing today we've got a big project today and we have actually got to get started because i'm meeting up with some people afterwards to record some stuff and i've got it i got a time commitment uh so you might recognize this that's spoilers this is actually all spoilers this is actually all spoilers uh what you more might recognize too. is this Da, 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 da. if you've seen the videos and kept up on all of it i cut too. out this entire place where the stone is coming out is uh that's where the mountain previously went and we pushed it all the way here to create a shipping channel for larger boats to be able to access the lake town that we have and then as you can see by this right over here I've decided to terraform and make this big old cool cliff, raise up all of the terrain, and it is a beautiful coming all the way over here. And eventually I do want to continue it down the coast, farther going down that way. Uh, and what I'm working on as my next video project is I want to build a village up at the top of it. One, because I thought it would look really cool. Two, I've talked about doing a village project out here. If you've been watching the uh flip two videos i was kind of alluding to doing a village project here and i do want to move forward on that we are taking the skeleton out where's my bow i got rid of my bow again goodbye and i started it so the lore behind this region for the sake of lore for the Based stream lore too. one it requires people to leave a like on the stream and it really powers up the lore engine every single like left on the stream the lore battery just goes Woo! It's like, think about like the Santa sleigh is powered by Christmas cheer as it has been canonized in the elf. Uh, you all have to leave a like for the Lord to be stronger in this world. So it's the way it goes. I don't, I don't make the rules. I just, and I just enforce them. Uh, Renee, thank you so much for the one month. I do appreciate it. Didn't realize I've been a member long enough. Hey, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Bee Biscuits. Thank you so very much. Figured I should do this and you after you said it. Also been struggling with the Elytra after you talked about the pixel consistent Elytra. I can't find it. Uh, it's on the Vanilla Tweaks website. You can find it over there. It's under one of the little fixes. Uh, Dominic, th or, thank you so very much for the 11 months. Love your terraform, you're insane. Yeah, I really like this. This has been a fun one. So what I want to do here is turn this into still having some sand, but more of a coral reef. Not coral reef, tide pools. Tide pools is the proper word. But the lore of the region is we have ocean. Ocean make wave. Wave crash. Hence, cliff caved out here. Slightly eroded at bottom. Meaning, water here, very rough. Also, village focused around fishing. Because that's the only food that they grow here. Because winds are very strong. And they prevent a lot of trees from growing. And they prevent a lot of, like crops from being able to really root in there and grow well so it's not good growing conditions so to live here they rely on the ocean so they've dug out this channel through the little cliff that we have here to create a boat ramp it's pretty steep i get that it's very steep so and then they've created this bulwark here out into the water where they basically just piled up stones as much as they can also i found a buried treasure I think I'm just gonna leave the chest there. I took the goodies out of it, but thought that was cool, so I'm leaving it. Uh, just randomly dug into it when I was clearing this whole space down, because yeah, this was all level one block under the water too. Um, yeah, so they piled up a bunch of stones here, 
and created this to create a little safe harbor where they could bring their boats down put them into the water and if blocky you're in here i reworked one of the small little fishing boat designs you sent me and i created this and i love it i need a stone for that 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 needs a that, no you can't do that okay that's fine but yeah, so we have this little protected cove where their boat can come in the water and go out there. I haven't quite figured out how the boats get from here to down there. I'm kind of thinking a pulley system of sorts that we can somehow create would be cool. And then carving this back a little bit further and we can create like a, a dry dock where the boats would just be sitting up here on top of some logs or something like that. So that's kind of the plan. There's going to be a village up here, all that cool stuff, a very sparse village. I was re recently watching a video that Vigo Man put out like a year ago. It randomly popped up on my Vigo. home feed of him touring around a medieval village that he made a long time ago. And it was so fun to be able to watch that. So the really the big thing that he tried doing in that village that he was creating is every single village house was a little bit more spread out and they all had their own backyard spaces they all had stretches of land behind them that they, they were using more for fields and things which we won't be able to do so much up here but i figured on top of the fishing we could also have some cattle i kind of want to go bring goats from the mountain down here but they'd probably just jump out and get loose so i'm not too sure how to handle that maybe fence posts underneath with a lead attached because that would stop the goat from getting too far but then they'd have the leads going through the ground below them so we'll see what happens there but that's a rough idea that i have and then yes i did do it uh the road does connect all the way back over to the beginning parts of the world <laughs> so that's where we're at so far that's kind of the vibe that i'm going for in this place when we get when we, while we're getting started here I do need to do a few more little bits of resource gathering. I grabbed these as I was going over. We're just gonna throw the extras right in there. That's the leftover boat materials. And we need to go grab a bunch more coral. I specifically want more brain coral, and I would love to get some more dead horn coral. And we'll just kind of pick up everything that we can get. So we're gonna take the we're gonna take our bed. We've got I wanna get a few more rockets. We're gonna go repair the elytra in the nether real quick because it's getting low and then we're gonna head out to the coral reef so we'll see how that goes what mods do i use they're all client side purely performance based mods uh i don't use anything that alters the game everything that i do is purely vis visual or for increased performance uh there's a whole list of them in the discord if you want to go check them out you're more than welcome to also, my friends, please be sure to leave a like on the stream. It helps me out a ton. We got almost 900 people in here and we just passed 400 likes. So there's over 500 people that have not left a like on the stream yet. I very, I very much do appreciate everybody taking the time Peace to do to that. Meet you. And who it's a little laggy coming over here. Woo. Okay. We've got to, we got to be a little bit more careful on this one. <sighs> right down into the nether we go. We are just out. Wow. I don't normally hit the wall there on that that little curve if you start shading the rocks please don't do it like the mountains it should be different from them yeah yeah, yeah. we're gonna go more much more coastal vibes oh i love that i can show this on stream now that we've seen it the video new video dropping on thursday being tomorrow by the way for those who are keeping up on the hardcore videos new one will be out soon I really love the next one. It's one that was so difficult to like title and thumbnail and all that. <laughs> but <laughs> I think it's a really fun video. I think people are, I think y'all are gonna really enjoy it if you check it out when it drops tomorrow. But yeah, I got one more video. This is the last video to finish recording for the rest of the year. And then I, I'm, take, I'm taking time off. This one should be out next Thursday. And then I'm, I'm taking, I'm taking a vacation. Did you talk about the Minecraft monthly post from today? I haven't even seen it. I don't really follow the Minecraft monthly post, to be honest. Okay, Elytra's repaired. Sweet. Thursday tomorrow? Yeah, Thursday tomorrow. <clears throat> this way. We can clean up these torches. I don't need these anymore. Wow, we can get rid of them. I also need to come back and do the end rods on there, but I haven't figured out how to fix the rails yet. 
A lot of people are like, just place the boat on a perfect 45 degree angle. I was like, you know how difficult that is? That's a lot more difficult than you think it's going to be. And a lot more lining up every single time you go down. Well, I'm not here for that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that much effort now. How much time will you not upload? I'm not too sure yet, but January, for those who don't know, is absolutely terrible on YouTube. It's the lowest views of the year because everybody's busy getting New Year's things and their resolutions to use technology less and all that. And then also the ad rates are the lowest by far. So nice to meet you. I will stream in January. I don't know if there's going to be a video. There'll probably be one video in January. But for reference, last January, I posted two videos, I believe, maybe three videos. And I ended up paying my editor more money to edit the videos than I earned off of them. <laughs> so I, I, I lost money by working last January. Not even just like chilling and hanging out. Like I, I, I lost money. <laughs> it's for real. So it's Thanks really just, my days better. It's I'll get days. one out just for like a touch point, but I, it's going to be mostly streams and, um, January and just kind of working on a big project and then February we'll get back into it fishing with flip yeah I'll probably do some more second channel videos I really like the weekly comment of the day type thing so I'll probably just keep picking out some comments and doing those um but yeah so I just I've already talked with uh Marcos my editor and we've we've agreed on one video for the month as I was like hey this is all I want to allocate time wise um like to ensure I have his time for it. Uh, so that's probably what it's going to be looking like. And we'll probably, I think the first week of January, I'm just not going to do anything. I'm just going to hang. And to be honest, play a lot of World of Warcraft. Um, Pleased to meet you. And then second week of, I guess I want this doll to be dead. Oh, I need to, yeah, we got to change our pickaxe. We'll just kill the, the coral when we get over there. Uh, let's do that. Okay. There we go. Much better. January sucks. Yeah, January's a it's a it's a weird one. Do I not get those at all? <gasps> you have to silk touch them. How do you get those to be dead automatically? Because I want to use coral fans and things too. Can we stop swimming? Pleased to meet you. I guess we'll get them as alive. Fine. We won't murder them now. We'll murder them later. January is like a whole month of liminal space. Yeah, I really want to do stuff because like, I, I mean, it's hard. My brain is so wired to just keep creating things for better or for worse. I'm really bad about taking time off. So I think my current goal in January is honestly to revisit the tree a day thing that I was doing for a bit uh, and really flesh those out and get a lot more custom tree designs in because I, I really love doing those and I love having them, but being able to make the time to actually make them and get them to be a point that I enjoy is difficult. So I think January, you probably will see a lot more social posts for me. And maybe I'll do like a second channel video at the end of the month of here. I made I made a tree every weekday in January. So it'll be like 20 something trees. A little time lapse of all of them going through. That could be kind of a fun video. All right, we'll be out here for just a little bit. I don't need a whole lot of coral, but I want to make sure we're getting some because uh, we do need it. There's so many different coral items. You do a tree tour on the stream. We checked it out last stream, I believe, or one of the ones before. There's been a recent stream. I haven't added any new trees. Uh since the last time we looked at them. So if you've been watching the stream VODs, you can go find it. I'm not sure which one it was on though, sorry. Oh, we just had a thousand people. 
I believe, I believe we can get to let's 800 likes. Can we do 800? 80% of likers, I believe. I believe it's possible. One day. <laughs> One day. Okay. We just need a little bit more coral. I need to go. I probably should just start putting it in the box, to be honest. I need like a coral fan box and I need a coral block box. I will say I am kind of interested in the idea of creating a data pack that allows you to transform those little coral fans into coral blocks. I know it's a uh, not a fully vanilla thing, but I know a lot of SMPs use that type of stuff to limit the destruction of coral reefs on the server, seeing as these blocks, th there's no way to create them other than mining them. And it's kind of a shame to ruin all the coral reefs. So we'll see, we'll see. Why is there an ad? Because uh, that's how I do this as a job. We could get rid of ads, but then live streams would have to become members only. So, it's a real S whip. You have officially gotten me through my entire master's program. Thanks for helping me keep some sanity over the past 3.5 years. Oh my gosh. Maybe now I can actually build my starter house on the server with my free time. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Liz, congratulations. That Oh, I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. That's huge. That's got to feel like a, just a huge sense of relief to have that all wrapped up. So congratulations. That's, that's really big. Very, very cool. And you know, the starter house, it'll it'll come when it comes. When you, when it, At this whole time, the design for it has really just been c meshing in the back of your brain to come up with the perfect starter house. So, you know, it's when it's meant to be, it'll happen. <laughs> Thank you so much for the donut. Oh, and I, I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. That is that is huge. That's so cool. You have no idea it's been a long haul. Oh, I'm sure. I have no idea what your actual your program was looking like, but I've had quite a few family members go through like extended schooling and stuff like that. And it's a it's a journey and a half. That is something my brain would never be equipped for. <laughs> But it's really cool to see everybody who's able to go through it and get so much out of it. So that's awesome. Congratulations. For real. Pleased to meet that's, you. That's really, really cool. I hit the wrong pickaxe and I broke a big one. I don't care about the fans. Like we could we could destroy the fans all we want. Maybe I need to make a coral a coral fan farm, because you can do that. Those are pretty easy. All you have to do is put sand up here. And then you have a bone meal dispenser, basically the same as a flower farm. That is the same way that you make a coral farm. The only difference is you have to have it ticking slower and you have to be the one breaking it, obviously, with so touch as we're finding here. Uh, so we could do that one day. That could be a farm. Wait, I'm gonna write that down real quick. Real quick, real quick. Uh, it, uh, uh, I, have a, I have my own Discord server that I just have like notes everywhere and I have one of hardcore farms needed to build coral fan farm there we go we'll do that uh da -da 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 what am I missing nothing okay there we go do we think we have enough coral I think I need some Ooh, maybe let's let's get a little bit more let's spend like another five minutes here and then we'll get back to building coral farm can be in a ship that you said you wanted to build at the ocean monument i don't think the ocean monument is a warm ocean biome because you have to do it in a coral reef or the equivalent of this yeah warm ocean biome only bone mealing sand and warm ocean it will produce coral or you can bone meal coral blocks too but not quite the same what's your favorite candy I think like my go-to number one, but I don't have it all that often, would have to be Reese's. Like a big Reese's cup. That is by far my favorite, but I don't have them off 
that often. That's like a full-on real gu guilty pleasure. I will say on top of that, though, I am a sucker for like a good Sour Patch Kids or something like that. I'm not super into chocolate. So Reese's went out because they're more peanut butter chocolate. <gasps> I did it again. And it was a blue one, my favorite. Dude, the Reese's trees. My mom used to put those in my lunch every day uh, in, high, in school for the holiday season. And it was like, oh, best part. <laughs> best part about lunch. All right, let's get these. I want to get a few more of uh, where is it which one is it this the blue let's get more air leave a like on the stream yes please i do appreciate it also uh i missed a few oh wow i missed a lot not even just a few um the tiny moose thank you so much for the seven months hope you're having a fantastic day as well ruby do thank you so much for the five months uh rick rick m gaming thank you so much for the dono Thanks for making my days better. Hey, thank you so much for being here. I'm glad you found a place you enjoy. Billy Tofu, thank you so much for the 20 months. So excited to see you in the next project coming along. This world is a blast. Hopefully that's not a physical blast happening. Uh, Jack, thank you so much for becoming a supporter. I really do appreciate it. And Sam, thank you so much for the 20 months. Big smiley's right back at you. Mario Chan, Secret Life, you have to be invited. That's the, <laughs> that's the answer. I'm a member now. You are. Look at you. I appreciate the support. Thank you very much. The chocolate to peanut butter ratio is so much better. Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. I know they introduced like the big Reese's cup a while back. You remember like where they basically said, this is equivalent to having all four of the ones that come in the king size. You can just have the big cup. And I remember getting one being like, this is going to be so good. And then I had it. And I was like, it's not as good. The ratio is off. It's, it's too much peanut butter. I did it again. I'm so sorry, Coral Reef. Okay, let's get this one and get out of here. Voice crack, hello. Get out of here. What, you feel like it was a moment of hyper-focus causing ones to be missed? Uh, probably that I was on a tangent. I do love a good rant where I just kind of talk and then I look at chat again like 10 minutes later without realizing it. <gasps> look at that, wow. Oh, I love the sun coming up there, wait. That's so pretty. But yeah, for whoever was asking, why don't I build, just build a coral farm in the ship I was planning to put over there? We'd have to build it somewhere in this. You can see the water color changing very clearly right here. You have to build it in this color water, that color water. This color water is only a lukewarm ocean. Okay, we need a warm ocean, a lukewarm ocean. Not gonna do it, okay? <laughs> Gee, I wonder why the coral reefs are dying. I don't know. Somehow, every few months, that one just pops up again. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah, honestly, though, the reason why coral reefs are dying is because coral growing conditions are extremely particular. <gasps> we did miss buttons. I need to go get more buttons from there. We'll do that later. Um, and then that, the cause of like humans and shipping channels and everything like that is what's killing the coral is that the ocean temperatures are changing. And so either the coral themselves are no longer able to survive there or that the food that the coral consumes is no longer able to survive there. I've been watching a lot of nature documentaries recently. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what was your favorite subject in school? I really liked ancient history. 
if you can't tell by how I like to play Minecraft and what I like to build in this game, wow, that is framey as heck. I really, really enjoy learning about ancient history and things that happened far in the past, but more so the architecture behind those civilizations and how those civilizations live their daily lives in that type of stuff. Like when you start in the history where as soon as human civilization moved beyond hunter gatherer and moved into more of dwellings and living in physical places and farming and starting to change the regions around them instead of just living off of the land and all that, like that is that type of history was my favorite. But then so much of it was just clogged up by stupid details that you didn't need to know about. And the teachers were like, you're gonna need to know all of this weird stuff. I'm like, no, never, actually. I will never use that information ever again. I just wanna know about the architecture of the house. Thank you. Okay, so we got a lot of coral. We got a lot of that. We actually need a few things out of here. So we'll bring this in too. Radio. I set that up. We are going to go with bam, bam. We're gonna start just by making a few coral, not coral, tide pools. And we'll see how it's gonna go. We won't have much water up there. Maybe we'll have a few pools of water up there, but for the most part, I wanna leave the tide pools down here. So I, if you haven't seen how I do these before, this is one of my favorite little details to add in. Uh, we're just gonna kind of cut out something like that and then we're gonna go bam bam and we could do a little bam bam and then we could do in the corner we could throw in let's get a few of these guys here too and then i also want some of the coral that we had let's put our chest piece on we won't need our food we won't need uh, I guess actually we, we will need that. We don't need the elytra right now. Uh, and then we can come around the rest of this. So we can start adding a little bit of our coral. And then back in here, we can even bring in a little bit of the cobble. And we can start to create some cool tide pools and little tide flat areas where the water would be getting stuck in. And we're just creating little tiny pockets and we can come back in with our water and do a little bit like this to fill it all in. And there we have our first tide pool and I love it. I think it's such a fun little design and we can just fill in the base with something like that. And if we keep adding pockets of these, changing up the size, going all the way up and down the coast here, it's just, I love it. I, I really love making these. I think it's something a lot more fun than just doing like a regular sandy beach that you normally see. And with this being such a rough, rocky coast or rocky cliff, a lot of the rocks would be falling down. So we're gonna make a lot more rubble along the base there. So I know I, know I said we we're river terraforming today, but I might have might have done a little lie. Um, so I do apologize, but I really wanted to focus on this, but I also didn't wanna completely spoil the, the next video. So please forgives. Thank you. Um, what if I did that? No, we're not doing that. Yeah, we'll just leave it there. That's fine. We'll just have a little flat back to it. Clickbait, wow. I know, I clickbaited, but I honestly, I think this project's better. <laughs> I think I think clickbaiting this project versus clickbaiting saying that we're going to do this and then we're going to, and then not doing this, I think this is better. Is there a new video tomorrow? There's a new video coming tomorrow. Yes, yes, yes. So we've got all this little bit added in here, right? There's two of our pools. And then we can come back in and add, let's just grab a few of our brain coral fans. And I want them to be dead. I don't want them to be live coral. I want them to be dead. And we're just gonna add it on here because it'll slowly kind of blur the line from the stone going back into the sand as they do die. And then we can also have a few dead bushes around here, like a few sticks or something. And of course, we need a few buttons, which we can also add down. No, you can't add buttons to the water. Never mind, I'm a liar. Okay, 
That is that's not an electro. That is a chess piece. Yeah, if we come back over here, you can kind of see the vibe starting to come in. We're going to focus on the beach portion now. And if we have time, we'll touch up on the water or maybe we'll go actually start digging that because I do want to dig that down and make it a lot deeper. But I like it. I think that's going to work out well. Now we just need to keep adding these and really change up the size a lot. That is something very, very important here. You can add buttons underwater and bedrock. See, man, I think we need a lot of the bedrock features in Java. This is so unfair. They have so many more features than us. We're making progress on videos for the holidays so it so you can take a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This video is not supposed to go out till next Thursday. I had a last minute project come through for a sponsored video that I'm very excited for that I managed to wrap up this morning. Uh, so that'll be fun. That'll be on the channel soonish. And then, yeah, that was kind of the last big one that I needed to get out of the way and be able to kind of really focus in on getting this stuff done, which is exciting. So, yeah, the only video I really have left to do, we're just going to put these up here so they're out of the way, is this one. And as soon as this video is done, I'm, I'm, I'm done for the year. Yeah, we got a last minute sponsor coming through. I'm very, very excited. I'm not going to tell you what it is. It'll be out next week, probably. I sent it over for approval today, so we're waiting on the results. Make make sure they like it. What country, what country would you love to visit? I've always wanted to go to Southeast Asia. I know it's not a country, but just like that general region of the world. I love the geography there. I love the, like the environment. And it's just, I feel like it'd be something that's just such a different daily life compared to what I live in the US. And I just think that would be a really cool like culture shock to have. So that that's always been big on my bucket list. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And we're gonna make a little second pool back here where some water is like fully trapped in. Just right here. Yeah, for something like that. That'll be fun. That'll work. I'm going to Thailand in a week. Ooh, very cool. Have fun. That's way too much. Um, I think after this one, because that'll be like four in a row. Well, this is kind of a plot of two. If we connect them together, we could move this guy back here. And we could kind of lead them in together. Yeah, that would be fun. So we have this as a as its own little way back out this way. So instead of being able to get through there, the water flows out on this side. Ooh. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah. So this way the water would flow in there and then pop out over on this side instead. And let me grab another cobble stair. Yeah. So instead we have like this little island that we're creating out of it. It's kind of fun. We'll come back in with our buttons and everything at the end. I just kind of want to show an example of what a final product might look like there. But we'll come back in and detail more of that as we're moving. So I want to make sure we're actually making progress instead of focusing on little areas. What are your non-Minecraft hobbies? Uh, Minecraft. Uh <laughs> Lady Katza, I think I missed it earlier, but thank you so much for the 18 months. Winter is Minecraft seasons on the homestead. Hey, I, I get it. Welcome back. Welcome back. And Heroic Pixels, thank you so much for the 14 months. Uh, no, I uh, hobbies recently, I've been really love playing WoW again, which I, I feel like is something that I've always been saying, but I've been really enjoying playing WoW uh, Season of Discovery, if anybody else is a fellow WoW nerd. Uh, if you see Whip running around on Wild Growth US, that, that's me. Feel free to say hi. But it's been fun. It's been really cool. I've been I've been enjoying it a lot, and uh, I got a pretty good group of guys to play with. Uh, one of my buddies who plays a lot of retail WoW, 
uh, his some of the people in his raid guild decided to make Season of Discovery characters, so we've been raiding together. What happened to New Life? Uh, it just... It, it didn't have life. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is... That's the answer. New Life was fun. I enjoyed my time on New Life uh, while it lasted, but I, it was one that I think I went into it with a bad mindset where I was very much expecting things to be very active and a lot of people being around to do things and just constant people being online. And a lot of the other people that came in were expecting it to be much more of a chill series, which is totally fine. That's It's okay to have a chill series. And so for me, when I was on there, I was expecting there to be a lot more happening. And when that wasn't happening, and then there also wasn't great communication from all parties on the back end, that it made it a little difficult to kind of convey that message of how things were going. That it felt, it felt weird being on there because I have constantly was feeling like I was alone on the server. And then I was like, I don't want to play on a server where I'm feeling alone. Um, so I, I kind of was like, all right, this is, that's enough for me. That's, I'm just gonna, my brain doesn't want to be on here. And if I don't want to be on a server, I know the quality of content I produce is 10 times worse. Uh, so at that point, if it's something where I'm like really being like, I don't want to play on this at all, I will just end the series. <clears throat> Cause I only want to produce content that I'm enjoying and having fun making. Cause otherwise, why should I expect you all to watch it? If, I, if I'm not having fun ma doing what I'm doing, I, I can't expect you all to enjoy the video that I'm making, so. That's not a fair expectation for me to feel like I'm making something that I'm not putting my all into. And then be like, but you better still watch it. I don't know, it just feels off to me. So I don't, I tend to, if something like that happens, I tend to just be like, all right, maybe I just cancel the series. What happened to Skyblock? Similar thing, just was not feeling, was not feeling it in the end. You play any instruments? Uh, I played piano growing up for like six, five, six years probably. Um, I wish I had, that was one of the things that like, I remember at the time being like, God, I don't want to go to piano lessons at all. I just did no part of me wanted to be there but now looking back and whenever i see like a friend or somebody uh like my fraternity in college we had a piano downstairs because we had a lot of guys from the music uh program in the fraternity and they a lot of them would just sit down and even some of the guys who are in the engineering school would just sit down and start playing piano and i was always like man i I wish I still had the ability to do that. Like that would be so cool to be able to just sit down and be like, all right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play some music that I know how to play. And yeah, so that'd been cool. Uh, I tried picking up guitar for a little bit, which I think all of us early nineties kids at some point were like, I want to play guitar. Uh, that didn't last for very long. I was not great at guitar. I was pretty good at piano though. I was pretty good at playing piano. But I definitely, like, as a kid, was like, this is stupid. I don't want to do it. But now I'm like, I wish I did it. Thoughts on the armadillo that have gone shown up today? I think the ar the wolf armor looks really cool. I mean, I think they did a really good job on that. So I'm, I'm excited. I think uh, the new update, I'm excited. I, I think I'm pretty excited for it. I, I feel like I haven't heard much about it for a while. I'm assuming Mojang is gearing up for their holiday break, which, you know, take the time off if you can. Uh, working at the end of the year is a big bummer. So I'm, I'm all here for companies taking time off and actually being nice to their employees about it. 
so I, I'm hopeful that they're doing that but I'm also hopeful that updates and things start ramping up pretty soon coming into the new year I'm excited to see what else they're adding in because they've said that they still haven't revealed everything coming in the update and I want to know what else is coming that is a very important you. thing for me <laughs> like the update right now when they first announced it I was like yeah and now I'm a little bit more yeah like I'm not like oh I don't want this update but I'm also like nothing in there I'm super like I need this right now like as it stands it's not something where I'm like, okay, the new update's out. I'm updating my world right now because I want the new features. Yeah, you know, kind of a little difference in the, in the little feeling there. Uh, just that slight little difference in excitement level. And I'm like, this stuff's cool. I'm excited to have it in the game, but I'm not ex like me keeping replay mod and that type of stuff right now is more important than updating. So I would be waiting for those updates to go live and then move up to 1.21 in its current version maybe there'll be something i'm still holding out for some new building blocks but you never know most software houses have a change freeze over christmas oh yeah you can you if you had a soft if you were a development studio of any form and you push a hot fix over the winter, like holidays or whatever, any time period, that means for the next 72 hours, you are all on call to make sure whatever goes live works properly. And if any bugs happen, you're there to fix it. So I totally understand why dev studios are like, yeah, we're just not pushing anything right now at all. Like, it's just not gonna happen. Like, I get that. <laughs> that is, I would be doing the same thing. Or if my company didn't do that, I'd be pretty upset. Like, that is only a, like, monitor and make sure everything you have pushed in the last few weeks is working properly so that the users who are working and using your product over that time frame are still able to use it and function. But, like, you're not, you're not pushing anything. You, you don't want to be. Because that only means the potential of work that you would need to do could skyrocket uh i want this one i know the software company i worked for before i went to youtube full-time they pushed a release for a brand new feature to all of our hundreds of thousands of clients on december 21st as a happy holidays here you go enjoy the features present um and i was on the support team at the time and that made the week from christmas to new year's absolute hell <laughs> that was the worst week of work i have ever had because all of the developers who were responsible for it were like i don't need to work it's the holidays and so they if they were the one on call they were not answering their phone and uh you best believe at the same time that they were not answering their phone, the entire system crashed <laughs> and was down. And we had a lot of angry emails coming in from the customers that were trying to use it over the break. That was a, not a fun day. Well, days. It took three days for an engineer to actually get on call and fix it. They're like, sorry, I was having Christmas with my family. I was in Hawaii. We're like, aren't you on call? They're like, yeah. Okay. I think this is starting to look pretty good over here, though. Let's take a little look-see back -see. see if we're enjoying it. It's definitely getting more vibey. I think we want, like, a little pocket there. Maybe another little kind of, like, just rock face there. Um, because right now it's feeling splotchy. <clears throat> I don't want splotchy. I want it to look like a coral, like tide pools not coral reef i don't want to keep saying that but tide pools and then also uh sand in between them for like the sand is able to rest in between all the rocks and all that like that that's what i want it to look like and i i don't think we're really getting that we're getting more sand with pools randomly plotted in so we need to like inverse the the amounts 
you make some of the pools with sandstone sandstone wouldn't work too well because it basically just look like the sand from a distance and then if you have a random pool of sand the tide coming in and out would wash it and it would eventually just smooth over which would then reveal the rocks underneath so that's kind of why i've sticking with just the stones because i want to make it look like a lot of stones are up there like fell down here and have just been chilling shape like that sure why not well now that we got all these in here maybe we do come back in and get a few of those coral fans in and see if that fills the space we've got our dead bushes we can do the rest of the bootins and we got our coral fans i'm thinking a lot of the dead bushes we keep up more towards the base I also want to leave the right underneath that a little more on the bare side because I think we're going to smooth that out and do kind of more stuff like this. I think I slept weird last night because my jaw is very tight. Not fun. Maybe some drift driftwood would be kind of fun to add in. What are we working on today? We're making some tide flats right now for vibes. I don't think I want to do too many other types of coral. Just we can do different textures on the coral fans, but I'm not thinking we add in too many of like the standing up ones. I just don't think they'd fit too well. I think they'd be too tall. I want it to look like little like debris, kind of like dead seaweed, I guess. So I think it laying more flat will be better. I want to see. Nice, perfectly, perfectly in the shadow. Thanks, son. But this side is not. Episode tomorrow, you betcha. I actually got to record the comment of the day video still. What about bringing turtles there? Uh, maybe. I think it's looking pretty good. I like this. The rocks definitely need love, but that's a, that's a future problem. Maybe this whole section, we don't do a pool of water, but we kind of just have a extension of some stone coming out. I ran out of the brain coral. I think this area, I don't know if I want to bring turtles because I am I want it to feel like a Nordic landscape, I guess. Something more, not Nordic, but like North Atlantic Ocean. So like really kind of rough. And I don't think that'd be something that's very suited for turtles. I think we're out of cobble slabs. No, we're not. We have plenty. We actually have a lot of cobble slabs. So that's a little bit why I'm... Maybe we tear this out. We do bam. Tear that out. Bring that up a little bit in there. I wish there was dead coral, like, slabs and stairs. It's such a fun block, but it's it's like a weird warm gray compared to everything else, so it's a little difficult to work with at times, but man, I do love it. It works pretty well with light gray wool, though. I will say that. So I'm trying to be more open to using coral. Need some more stone buttons. Yeah, 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 we're going to add some. I think I'm going to avoid pressure plates because they're just kind of chonky. 
buttons work for me as like little shells and things but the second i add in pressure plates it just starts to feel a little artificial Roded rocks. Yeah, that's kind of why I did like this curve here where it comes back out. So the waves would at very stormy times would be crashing against the base of the rocks, causing a little bit more of the erosion. And like this section here, we can just shape this out for now with some cobble. Some little mossy for now because this is meant to look like very crumbled all right if they would have added in crabs you put them in this area yeah the crab they were talking about adding in being so vibrant and brightly colored i like it I would have been more keen on just like a plain red little crabby boy. Like I don't need like the blue and red and super colorful, which I know is a real crab. Like it's, it's a crab. It exists. I get that. But, oh, this is all not water sources down here. That is, whew, that's going to be a pain. All right. Well, we can just fix a little bit of that. Super rocky shelf right here. Oh, I had an idea. A brain blast. Um, sorry. <laughs> so I have that bulwark over there, right? For where that's a little protected harbor. And then maybe we make this section here pretty rocky. I need to go get some stuff. need to go get some stuff uh but so if like a boat were to crash into it it would be bad so we can add a little rock that maybe they built up to keep people off the coast I was so nervous that crabs would be added with my phobia of crabs. <laughs> yeah, well, it can't really help you there. Good thing they lost the mob vote. And we got the armadillo. I will say, since the armadillo stuff has been announced, I've seen quite a few people of the hashtag stop the mob vote crew in the content creation world being like, wow, the dog armor looks so cool. And trying to grub up some likes off of that. So, you know, I, I think they were faker hashtag stop the mob vote people personally. But, you know, I'm not here to start any drama. Or am I? The world may never know. All right. So, I'm thinking we do bam. Bam. Aha. It won't be the brightest of things, which is kind of what I want, but it'll tell the ships to go outside that. Don't cut the corner tight. You have to go outside that to be in deep enough water to make the passage. We start just a little drama, just, just for some fun. The mobs is a texture pack. It's called Fresh Animations. There's probably a new version. I just haven't downloaded it. Okay, um, how's the balance here looking? 
Ooh, I'm starting to enjoy it. I like that. This, we need to break that up a little bit more. And then this, there is a harsh line coming in. So we're actually going to extend you out like that. Probably. Something like that. No, that's still a harsh line. Pleased to meet you. That'll do. Okie dokie. Needs more moss. Uh, we could do a tiny bit of moss carpet. I'm not super keen on the idea, but like we could try a tiny bit. I'm thinking something like that. Oh, we also just bring up stair right there to break. And then we can also have that stair wrap there, so it adds a little bit more connection. Ooh -hoo. We could do some glow lichen. Glow lichen could come in clutch here. Also, Terran Crossing, thank you so much for the two months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And a encrypted vortex, thank you so much for the 10 months, my friend. I really do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you both. Where's my There's my glow lichen. I think a little teeny tiny bit of glow lichen, just maybe on top of some of the sand, kind of fits with that dead coral vibe that we're getting in here. I like it. Maybe we keep it really close to the water so it looks more like wash that's come up off of the water so we don't actually move it up. I know it won't really do the mob proofing effect at that point, which is, it's okay. Not everywhere in the world that you make needs to be mob proof. Cha-ching! Liz of Swords, thank you so much for the five gift memberships. And Statifier, thank you so much for the gift member. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate you both for all of the support. Thank you so very much. Let's do a little bam. Uh, well, I should do a little rock right there. That's fine. And then this can also be rock. That can also be rock. Rock. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing around here. I kind of transition from this caved-in look, as we're very protected from the ocean at this point, to the water would be more whipping down there. So I reverted the cliff back to normal, just like up. So I think for now we're going to leave the tide pools not coming back this far. Maybe we'll stop them. We'll just do something like that. Perfect. A little bit of dead coral. Sure, why not? White slash red lighthouse. I think I'm going to be going a little bit more in older. Much on the older side than what you where you'd see your where you would start to see traditional red and white lighthouses. Yeah, I like it. And then we can throw right back in here. We definitely need to get a little bit more action going on. Uh, I wanted to tone this sand right along here, bring that back a ton. We'll figure that out. I mean, it's just gonna fall for now. We'll figure that. The underwater section, I just, I, that's a, that's like a day of streaming in itself. I love dead brain coral along the shorelines. It looks so good. Yeah, dude, that's honestly one of my favorite blocks in the game. It's just hard to use. It's very niche where it works, but when it works, oh my gosh, do I love it. Finals are kicking my butt, but this is my happy break. Hey. Taking a happy break is sometimes the best thing you can do for yourself. So good on you. I 
I don't want to be bringing the rocks out too much here, so we're probably going to touch this guy back in a little. And then this will kind of be to here. Yeah. So it's not really tide pool. It's more just area where tide can come in. Uh, we'll go full block there. And this can be you. And that can be there. Perfect. That'll create a little spot for some water to get stuck. That's what we want. And then right here, we can do a little whoop, 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 and a whoop. Nope. You need to go to there, apparently. Ooh, I actually kind of like that. And we can brain coral it. Or bubble coral it, bubble, bubble coral it. Yeah, there we go. That's that was the original plan, not just the first one I grabbed. Found the cat emoji. Oh my gosh, it's in a box too. At least YouTube did something right. Right? You gotta give them a good cat emoji. We can check the box that YouTube made a good cat emoji. On the things that they did right, cat emoji. Pleased to meet you. Marcel, thank you so much for the 11 months. I personally like the mob vote. It add, I'd add 100 more animals, so the mob vote is gradually is a gradual way to add more. What animal would you like to be added most? I will always say I want to see more flying things. And by flying things, what I mean like that is if there was like a hawk that's just vibing, chilling across, they have a nest on top of hills that they could go land in and all that stuff and maybe you could go like loot the bird nest to get i don't know some sort of egg or they get items or something like that like that would be really cool i would absolutely love to have more flying things parrots would be one of my favorite animals if they actually flew and for anybody who's been playing minecraft for long enough you know that parrots in this game do not fly they hover and they slowly drop down to the ground there's no flight in that bird. That bird has never soared. It's only fallen. Bees fly better. Be and the bats? Bats are so much better. They're, they can actually fly. What about a pelican? A pelican would be cool too. But yeah, I would love to see some form of flying ambient mob. I think for me, that would be just chef's kiss just so so good i know that's not everybody's favorite but i'm i'm go like if you could have you could have a hawk that just like flies around like i said you could have a pelican that you can randomly run into over the sea or yes even for the people who live in coastal cities that could terrorize them maybe even a seagull i know it would bring up a few touchy memories for some people uh but like just more flying ambient things because the only true flying thing we have in the game like bats are pretty good but they're only in caves um a lay is decent and then it's phantoms and that's just so sad i i yeah i want there to be more passive mobs that just enhance the world and also like let's f3b right here there's squids over there there's none over there there are, I mean, I've lived in this world for a long time. Like we have a sheep up there. We have some animals up there. This is a river biome, I believe. No, it's a forest. All right, so we won't have fish spawning it. Yeah, we got a beach biome. I guess they still don't spawn in beach biomes. Yeah, so this whole thing. But like, I don't know. I, I wish like the fish and everything like that. I, I, I just want there to be more life. Like the ocean aquatic update was one of my favorite things because you could look in the water you could see fish moving around like they're hard to see for me because i'm colorblind but, like you can see all the little cod chilling out there and some salmon chilling out there just hanging in the kelp forest and granted this kelp forest has been loaded for uh all of this you can see it's pretty much max grown because you know day 5806 right now so we've been here for a few minutes and this area has been loaded in kind of during that time barnacle yeah eagles would be cool 
Uh, why don't you play with shaders? Not everybody can play with shaders, so I don't want to alienate people in my audience by playing with them. I also think shaders... Shaders are a crutch for builders. I, I'll, I'll say it. I'll say it. I said what I said. Shaders are a crutch. A lot of people, their builds only look good if you turn on shaders. That's fine. That's fine. If that's how you play the game and that's what you enjoy, then do it. That's great. But I also think making a build that looks good without any form of shaders on is infinitely more impressive than a build that was done with shaders. And that's just fact. Because shaders add so much more that and the shadows, the drop shadows being cast and the ambient light coming off of objects and things like that, you get a lot more detail that you don't have to put in yourself. The shader does that for you. Like here. Well, I'll show you. Let's uh we can we can make this look absolutely gorgeous uh when the sun comes up i mean that right there look how much better that looks with shaders versus no shaders the vibe that you get off of that right now with shaders being on is so much different than you get with it being off let me uh fix the shader settings and i'll show you all what we can do Lighting, uh, no, it's under, no, it is under, where is it? Pleased to meet you. Atmosphere, sun angle. We'll change this over to that side. Actually, I want to go a little bit, a little bit more. A little bit, look, please load. Please don't come again. Thank you. I have a. Nat Renee, thank you so much for the 22 months at tier two. Flip pot takes are my favorite. I mean, that's not, that's like a lukewarm take, let's be honest. If you don't believe that, then I can't help you. <laughs> There's nothing I can do to help you out at that point. And we're just gonna be looking at a really simple thing right here. Let's see. The sun's coming up right there. Let's just full on. We're going to go full cheeky vibes here. So let me land on top of a tree to ensure that we're safe. And look at this. Y'all want to see what shaders can do? Ignore the shulker boxes. I'm not fixing them. You see just like the light coming in, the little extra details that you get in the water. And this is a pretty bare bones shader pack too. But like you get all of that. You get, you get so much more. You see that versus that. And then let me open up these screenshots and I can prove to you why shaders are fully a crutch when it comes to building. I will use them in cinematic shots because I think they're beautiful, but they're a, cr they're a crutch and it's fair and it's okay to acknowledge that. Uh, middle monitor, there we are. That's the one we had versus that. <laughs> You, see, you get the extra depth in the background that you can't see because it's behind the chat up there, but you get the shadows cast there. You get the shadow cast on the cliff here. Whereas if I want to do that here, I'd have to texture the entire thing and build in artificial shadows to it where you get that for free. So leaving just a plain stone building there or a stone shape, as long as you get the shape right, shaders can make it look really good. You can get the detail in here. You see a little bit of the dithering and the more... Um, blurriness as you get farther underwater and you get the extra depth as you go down no oh, that's a oh yeah that's what we took earlier uh you get the extra depth as you go down further so even this being diorite and stone doesn't look as bad as it does without um and then you can see the little shadows cast in there and everything like that like it's just you get you get so much more depth you get a lot more just life and detail when you play with shaders on which is fine like if you enjoy playing with shaders like minecraft in itself, I, I think it's a beautiful game, but I can also understand why people don't find the blocky look to be beautiful. So it really comes to your own preference. But when you're talking like building ability and building skills, building with shaders on, 
I think the way to become a better builder, like truly a better builder, is to play without shaders on. If you're playing with shaders on, you're only going to get so far because you will forever be relying on the shaders just by the fact that they're enabled. If you're going to build things that look better in the game at its moment with the shaders on. Full screen. Oh, sorry. Thank you. I thought I... No, I locked it. I hit the wrong button. Thank you. Hit the wrong button. Where can we share builds inspired by you, Flip? Have you joined the Discord? There is a post your builds channel. You are more than welcome to post in there. Uh, in order to get access to it, you do have to agree to the rules and all that of the Discord. So, um, yeah. That's a thing. And we have recently changed how the Discord rule checking system works, thanks to Liz, who's done a lot of work to get that set up for us. Um, so... If you previously could post and you no longer can post, you might need to agree to the rules again and do all that stuff. I don't really know if it's working like that or not, but or if it just grandfathered everybody in. But just to be aware. You'd use darker stone blocks on the cliffside to create a sort of, sort of shaded look without shaders. Don't worry, it doesn't look good. Just an idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to do something like that. I mostly think I'm going to leave the stone and do some cobble at the base, and then at the top we'll lighten it. Because you don't have to, you don't have to always darken to create shadows. You can create shadows by lightening up the rest. So the stone could be our shadow. So that's kind of what I'm shooting for. But this is looking pretty good. I like this. I actually, I'm really happy with this. And we got more sand. Yay, sand. And dirt. I'm running out of dirt. anymore uh, da, 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 da. do I see a cheaty cam view I would never yes <laughs> white bars on YouTube not you what, what white bar like at the bottom of the screen ship graveyard yeah, we could try and throw something in. What do we have left? Let's go get a little bit more jungle. Or maybe some spruce. Make it look like not somebody here. Because what I'm doing for these is uh, jungle and dark oak and a little spruce accent at the top. Let's go uh, Let's go get some spruce so we can make it look like some, some dummy came through on their boat and ran into the rocks. YouTube app being weird. It's a YouTube playback bar. Oh, okay. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Also, excuse me, big yawn. That entire forest over here, I think eventual goal is to transform it all. Like with big custom trees. I think first and foremost, I want to redo this section. I want to turn this into like a shipping yard where a lot of stuff gets unloaded. We will need to rework the roads and kind of redistribute that. Maybe we just go lorries and it's small carts. Because the docks here are not the biggest. But I guess we could. We do have that as a big shipping dock. And we could wrap around here. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that instead. And then out there, we can have just another little small hamlet. Massive project. Oh, that won't be a one episode one for sure. No, that'll be a slow, slow grind. But project build trees. Uh, they do need a place to go once I build trees. Don't look at the shulker monster. I know it's back. What did I come back here for? Spruce. You like snow biomes in Minecraft? Honestly, no. I like looking at them. I think they look nice in the background. I hate building in them. Is 
building and survival slash hardcore more satisfying for you when it's completed yeah i find that playing in a survival mode versus playing in a creative mode helps me to stay motivated for longer versus playing in a pure um creative mode i find i kind of build the thing and then i'm like well now what i don't know i guess we're done so playing in a more hardcore mode helps me have long-term motivation because the things i build have an impact on the world around me and yeah it's definitely more of like a it's an earned thing so i like that uh, and all, most of the builds that I do have some sort of a use for them, whether it's a landmark to mark how I'm coming home somewhere, or we have farms built off of structures that for the buildings where they exist out of. Uh, the map was already made. It's fine. It's, we want, we have like, this is episode 54. I got like six episodes to clean it. It's totally fine. It's fine. Just ignore it. It's, shh, it's fine. Totally fine. Nothing is there. There's no shulker left. The frozen elf kingdom definitely exists. Yeah, not at all. I do think this cliff that we're building up here will extend a very good chunk because that's already pretty raised up. So it'll be easy to transform that into something and keep that going through all the way here. Oh, the music broke. It's like it's really quiet right now. Um, but yeah, I want to keep that, like this whole cliff line coming all the way down, probably less of a beachfront just for the ease of access. And before we get back into the work mode, before we get back into it, um, I think I've mentioned this idea before, but connecting this to this river, like connect those rivers together. And then this is where things get a little stupid, if I might say. Somehow, I want this river to continue wide enough for a shipping channel, mind you. Um, which means this whole mountain here that I'm on top of currently, we might get rid of it. I do kind of like the valley, so maybe... I, I don't know. I don't know. But we need to somehow connect that over to here for this. And then that will wrap around all the way through here. We've popped one, maybe two totems. And then we're going to connect it to here. Because that's how we access the harbor of the back of the city. makes more sense to use the valley for the river we could go with that realm oh that's my last rocket that's a really good pause in the music for that yeah we're gonna try and coast all the way back i don't think it's gonna work so that is a plan we could go with the quarried look and just really quarry out this side of the mountain and tone it down but as it stands right there part of the middle of that is only like three or four blocks wide oh i'm not gonna make it pull up and then we coast that's probably more ambitious than the world tree in terms of blocks that would need to be removed it is probably like that's probably a good like two three million blocks Nah, I mean, it's probably like a million blocks. If I had to guess. Yeah, why didn't I bring my ender chest with me? Or my bed? Oh no, run! We might have to actually survive a night! Oh god. Your favorite wild animal. Boxes are pretty cute. Um, I do like bears. Bears are fun to learn about.
Yeah, we almost made it. New episode tomorrow? Yes. Oh, I do have a bed. Thank you. <laughs> but we made it. Wolves. Wolves are cool. This is a picture that popped up on my uh, Twitter feed a while ago of a husky standing next to a wolf. You probably have seen the photo before, but it's just like every time I'm like, yeah, look at my huskies. They're so big and tough. And then there's a picture of one next to a wolf. I'm like, my huskies are they're little tiny little dudes. <laughs> Not that I want either of mine to be super aggressive or anything, but it's just when you see that scale of them next to each other, you're like, oh, these are, they might have been long, long lost ancestors, but uh, they are not the same species anymore. <laughs> what kind of bears though? I like grizzly bears. They're pretty cool. Black bears are cool. Uh, brown bears. A lot of the ones you'll see in like Pacific Northwest or like the Western United States areas are, I like those. I don't know, I really like the animals and species and everything that exists in the environment around me. I just think it's cool to learn about them because they're existing. We did have a, a bear in our neighborhood a few weeks ago. That was, that was fun. Maybe you're gonna make a modded series. Uh, I've done a single player modded series in the past. And I just didn't enjoy it. I like vanilla. And I know there's more options when you get into modded. And I get that. But I I personally think that is a detriment. The more options I have in Minecraft, the more I get stuck of worrying about did I choose the right thing or not. And then it makes the game a lot less fun and it turns into a much more of an anxious experience of am I doing this right? So I, I tend to just modded, especially single player for me, it's just not, it's just not how I enjoy it anymore, I think. Okay, let's add a little bit of a boat right here. We're gonna make it look like it's kind of stuck down and probably just like resting along the there. So the back end will be in the water. We'll just fill those things in as we're going. It's gonna be a skinny guy, just a little three wide. Something like, I don't, uh, no, we'll. That'll work. Um, this can work. Let me do bam, bam. Give it a little bit more shape. It's a shipwreck. It doesn't have to be super accurate looking. Um, and then I'm thinking we do a little unevenness on that side. And we can do a little bam, 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 bam. And that looks like a boat, kind of. Uh, maybe we do one more. I, I think the five will work better than a three. Maybe they saw this crash and that's why they're like, you know what? We should build one of those. Have you watched Interstellar? I honestly don't think I ever have. I've seen all the memes from it though, for sure. Cause those are everywhere. I couldn't tell you if I've actually seen the movie.
Love your live streams because I'm building your whole world the same. Wow, cool. Sounds like a fun challenge. Good luck. Not you guys again. Again? Again. Ah, oh, man. Like shooting fish in a barrel. Hey, buddy. I know this is a little forward, but that's okay. On vengeance i built them a home why would you ever take vengeance on somebody for building you a castle i don't understand it world just got corrupted about 2,000 days I hope I can get it back uh welcome to another reason to have backups but good luck might it might uh I know this happened to Joel a while ago it might be whatever you were doing at the time got your world to be corrupted but that being said sometimes changing like if you got if you're in the end dimension or something and that's where your corruption is coming from going into the player data file and changing your player coordinates to being in the overworld can save it but uh good luck go go do some googling to find if anybody has other solutions you're so mean to your fans you're right i'm i'm the, i'm such a meanie i'm so rude to everybody I think it looks better stripped. Got a chest just like the vanilla shipwreck. Yeah, we can give him a little crafting table and a chest. Why not? I don't know. We'll find that later. Yeah, he's... This is such a rude guy. So mean. Who gave him an audience? Psh, gosh. Okay, I like that. I think it works. It's it's simple. And I oh, we need a rocket still. Might be time to AFK my new creeper farm. Woo! Yeah, I think that'll work. It's basic, but it does the trick. Now let's see it with shaders on. Just kidding, it's in the shadow. Yep. Wait, we can fix it. Shader pack settings, atmosphere. Let's go a little bit higher in the sky. With shaders on, the best build ever. Wah, 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 wah. It does the trick. 
It looks like a sunken ship. Doesn't have to be meta. Okay, we did it. How much does that creeper farm get in 12 hours? I don't know, I haven't AFK'd it for more than 10 minutes. Dude, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't do that type of Minecraft. If it produces gunpowder, yeah, that's what I wanted. for now. Nice boat. Thanks, dude. It's a nice boat. Okay. Um, I was hoping to get to start digging out the river today, but I do have to go jump on a call to record some things with some other peeps uh, in like 15 minutes. So, plan river transformation. We'll have to wait until Friday's stream. Because right now, all I'd really have time to do is set up a beacon. And, well, set up beacons. Because I think we're going to need a lot of them. And go from there. So, we can just kind of mess around here a little bit further. And start fixing this up a little bit more. Because, boy, oh, boy, does it need it. I hate that. I try to avoid any form of four steps. Any Anything that goes above three in the same general thing, unless it's meant to be very, like, a line, I hate. If it's anything natural terraforming, I can't do it. I will refuse. I have to change something. Pleased to meet you. Sarah, thank you so much for the 11 months. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, making part of the stream after football training. Are we talking like American football? Or are we talking like soccer football? Football or football? Either way, cool. Sounds fine. Rule of three. The rule of three does get you pretty far in Minecraft building. Very true. Don't look on site, I swear it's very filled in. So full. So absolutely just the solidest of most solid terrains you've ever done diddly seen. Uh, May, thank you so much for the five gift memberships. I really do appreciate that. That was very, very kind of you. Thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate the support, my friends. I, I guess uh, we're at the one month ago today point in the live streaming life of I logged in and I opened up Streamlabs and I was like, oh, the member count dropped below a thousand again. And I went back and I was like, oh, yeah, it's because a month ago on a stream people gifted like 150 members i'm not saying do that i please don't please don't uh but i just thought it was a i was like oh <laughs> it's that time Sam. 
we'll figure this out because this needs to go down really deep so i don't even want to really deal with it right now stay for long but happy to have caught a live stream have a good day everybody hey just thanks for stopping by you have a good one all right yeah november december is pretty tight finances for so many people holiday the holiday season like it's one of my favorite times of the year but it's also like one of the most stressful times of the year like the whole like gift giving process is so fun to be able to like say like hey you matter to me and I got I got you this like that that's really cool but also at the same time like the amount of weight Please society has put on it to be like you better get people gifts because if you don't you're a bad person and nobody wants to be a Scrooge right so you're gonna buy people gifts right um, and that that whole side of it is a little like oh okay I guess that's where we're at now but yeah so please Make sure y'all are taking care of yourselves and your families first during holiday seasons, everything like that. And then Pleased to meet take you. care of yourself. You, you got to make sure you're getting yourself a gift too. Everything like that. Pretty important to do. And then if you want to, you can support the stream. But please never feel pressured. That looks kind of cool. Okay, the shape's a lot better. I don't really know what I want to use to texture it quite yet, though. Honestly, the plain stone on the cliff, I'm not hating. It does need something, otherwise it's going to stand out as just a stone blob. But it's not something where I'm over here and I'm like, this is disgusting. I kind of enjoy. You'll make this look... You make this look so easy. It's like watching Olympus gymnasts compete. <laughs> I always love that quote about, yeah, the Olympics are cool and all, but can we just have like a normal guy running next to him? Just like normal human, like just somebody walk out of the stadium and say, hey, do you want to compete in the 100 yard dash just to a random person and have them running and then have everybody just zoom. <laughs> It would really put into perspective how great these people are. It was like that, uh, who was that US track star? She was just insanely fast. So, so talented. I'm blanking on her name right now, but her kid had like a parents uh, sports day, like parents sports competition for school as a fundraiser or something like that. And she was like, it would be rude of me to not show up and give it my all in this thing. Like at the people that, so she competed in their like hundred yard dash and was like, it would be rude of me to show up and run half speed against everybody. They would think everybody else would find it to be so rude if I just didn't give it my all as they're all sprinting and I'm still just coasting by them. So there's a video clip out there of her doing it and just going full, just flying by and destroying everybody by like that. She like cut second place's time in, in half or something like that. It was just absurd. <laughs> Ended up, of course, people on the internet were giving her a really hard time. And then it's just like, it would have been rude if I didn't try. They're all trying really hard. So I should try as well. And I was like, yeah, hundred percent. If you're out there and you're somebody's like, we're gonna compete and I'm gonna give it my all, and you're like, and you're like, yeah, I'll give it fifty percent because I know I'm gonna beat you. That's that's rude to the other person. Like, if somebody's trying really hard to do something, like you, you should be trying hard too. Uh, even if that means you're gonna kick their butt, like, I don't know. I I find there's a lot more respect in that. Of like, I see you as a fellow competitor, not just. Yeah, I might give you a little chance to make you think like you're good. Pleased to meet you. We also have to do that edge over there. Completely forgot about that. So maybe that'll be Friday and then we'll start digging. But I'm happy with the progress we got today. This is looking pretty good. OK. 
Shadow plays, don't spend any more money than you want to. That's all I'm going to say. AGN, thank you so much for becoming a member. McTerra, thank you so much for becoming a member. And Carson, thank you so much for becoming a supporter. I really do appreciate it from all three of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I believe, though, this is where we're going to wrap things up because I'm actually getting really hungry. I know it's a little bit of a shorter stream today, a little under two hours, but I really do appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, so much for being here. Y'all are absolutely amazing. If I don't see you again, have a lovely holiday season and happy new year and all that cool stuff. Um, remember, as all the family craziness and everything comes in, it's okay to take some time just to chill and do your own thing. If the weird aunt or weird uncle are there doing their thing and whatever it might be, or if the uh, grandparents are on their rant, whatever it might be that your family has, because every family has one, um, it's okay to just leave the room and go do your own thing. That's, that's totally fine. Take a break. Take a breather. Go outside for a few minutes. All that stuff. But anyways, thank you all so very much. I hope you have a lovely holiday season. I'll be back on Friday. You are the weird aunt. Hopefully you're the fun weird aunt though, Jenny. I feel like I'm getting those vibes from what you've said in chat here. So I, yeah, you're all good. <laughs> or are you the weird aunt that gets put at the kids table for every holiday meal? Because my family had one of those, has one of those very fun but <laughs> you'd have the adults table and then there's always the chairs full and one extra and the one aunt was always the one who was put at the kids table <laughs> it was great we had a great time as kids we had so much fun uh, <laughs> but thank you all so very much for being here i really do appreciate it new hardcore video dropping tomorrow it's a good one i really did enjoy it uh recording it and making it and all that stuff so i hope you do too we'll have two videos next week and uh, hopefully two or three streams next week as well. But thank you everybody so much for being here. Again, happy holidays. I'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye.